Good morning. Uh, good morning so far. Everybody's having a good Wednesday morning. Just a quick tip here. Uh, as stuff comes up with files, I always like to just put it out there. Hopefully this helps somebody uh, not make a mistake and not take the initiative and then all of a sudden find out, hey, uh, this is a problem now and so forth. So uh, I had a file yesterday. I had a client that is looking to purchase a, um, you know, purchase a house and, and he has some debt and, um, and there were certain things that, that, that he had to take care of. But what he did was pay off uh, a few more things than than he should have okay so kind of what we do is that once we look at somebody and, and it's kind of a gray area as far as their credit and seeing what we can do with their credit and boost it up if need be is that we run a credit analyzer and now it'll tell us exactly what they have to do to, to boost up their score and help them out uh, but sometimes it's not just about boosting the score sometimes it's just about credit history but it's very important to understand when when you have a Let's say you have twenty thousand dollars of assets. So let's let's call it in a checking account, and you're looking to put that down on a house. Let's just call it a hundred thousand dollar house. Okay, let's keep it simple. And the loan amount would be eighty thousand dollars. Okay, so it'd be twenty percent down. Now most people say I have to do twenty percent down, twenty percent down. It's not the case. We can structure it different ways to still have good cash flow, but take some of that twenty thousand dollars and apply it towards a credit card or you know pay something down let's say your debt to income ratio is not fitting into the box so to speak then instead of putting more money down because remember I say this all the time every thousand dollars every every thousand dollars up or down on your mortgage only change your payment roughly about five bucks that's it so it pays for that person sometimes to pay off a credit card with that twenty thousand let's say they have five thousand dollars in, in credit card debt and the payment was pushing them over 50% debt to income ratio and they're, and they're looking to go conventional. So let's say they do have good credit, but the debt to income ratio is not there. So in that case, what you want to do is apply some of that money and pay off that, that debt and bring that debt to income ratio down. So my whole point in this is that not all the time everything fits into exactly what to do. So this person wanted to do 20% down. Instead of doing that, let's take off some of that uh, cash and let's pay off that debt to, to get them in line, okay? Because it doesn't make sense. Even if, if they put another $10,000 down, okay? That's 50 bucks. Well, they have a credit card over here that's $400. And, and you know, for five, $5,000, let's take that 5,000 and pay that off. It's gonna give them more bang for their buck. So it, it's not one system fits all. You have to look at the puzzle and figure out what gives them the best opportunity, the best way to uh, to maximize their money when it comes to purchasing a house. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions on it. Sometimes it does make sense to to put a little bit extra down instead of, instead of paying something off. Uh, it really depends on the debt to income ratio, depends on the mortgage insurance and how that's structured. There's a lot of things that go into it when it comes to purchasing and using the client's money the right way and, and counseling them and coaching them and educating them. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions on that. Uh, comment down below. Shoot me a quick text at 423-262-9229. Um, or shoot me a private message on Facebook and I'll get back to you. Have a great, great Wednesday and I'll talk to you soon.